We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group or black militia group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat. As stated in Leviticus chapter five, verse one of the King James Bible. Hey, Shalom. Most high in Christ. Bless. We are Israel United in Christ. And this is the. Oh my God. Oh my God. Show. Another week of fire and the right, heathen right. are raging. Let's go. Right. They mad. They mad, but Israel mad. back in the house. Hey, Shalom, yeah. family. Hey, we back with another hot radio show for y'all. Hey, teaching y'all that you're the Israelites. Hmm. You so called right, blacks, right. Hispanics, and Native Indians, men and women, children. You are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And we're going to go through. Hey, if you want to check out. Our website, get more information on our group, is www.israelunite.org, www.israelunite.org. And you can call us, you can reach us by phone at 1-855-484-4842, extension 7098. That number again, 1-855-484-4842, extension 7098. And our email is armorofgodradio at gmail.com. You ever have questions? You want to reach out to us, armorofgodradio at gmail.com. Uh, mm. I'm your host today, Officer Ray Well, We got in the studio. Officer Jeremiah Olam. Officer Mayhom. Officer Issachar. Officer Menahem. Officer Pillai. Yeah, all praises. Yeah, yeah. In a virtual studio audience. <clears throat> I, I did feel special after the clap. Yeah, they, they, they clapped it up for us. Yeah. They all praises. So the topic today is. Bring it out. Bring it out. Oh, the topic oh. for today is yeah, overseers, the overseers and the murder of Tyree Nichols. Hey, he, he's serious. new. We, we got to. That's yeah, right. It's been a while. It, it took a while to load <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, it's been it a while. Because it's a serious yeah, topic. A little it's, glitch. it's a heavy topic, man. You, you had to, you had to mm. get time and focus on that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Overseers. Say it again. Overseers mm. and the murder of of Tyree Nichols, Bruh. a lot of self, a lot of a uh, self, how you say, self explanation going on just right, in the title, right? right. Overseers, because what's an overseer, y'all? Um, I got a definition here. You want me to read? Yeah, it for yeah, you? Bring that all awesome. praises, all praises. So this is the definition of overseer. It says a person who oversees others, a person with supervisory responsibilities. Mm. Do you see that right there? When you look at in like uh, the scope of a classroom in the school, you know that's the teachers, right. the hall monitor. Sometimes you see that mm. like let's say the teachers ain't. Let's take it away from teachers. Let's just say among the populace of the school, the students, who gets to be the overseer? It'd be like the hall monitor, people right. like that. You get that little sash back in the yeah, day, yeah, little orange, right, one. right, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We got, here's some synonyms right here: superintendent, mm-hmm. manager, mm-hmm. supervisor, director, chief. Right, you mm-hmm. go. right. So you got stuff like that. And I, I, I like using that one because it's like uh, hall monitor. You don't really got power like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm right. Mm-hmm. You gonna say something yeah, on that? Yeah, they be the nerd bullies. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. They're, they're the teacher's pet with power. Bruh. They just start doing whatever they want. All types of pink right. slips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's another name for it right here. We, we, we've heard this here in the Bible. Bring that out. Taskmaster. There it is. Say that again. Taskmaster. Mm-hmm. Now, what, you got to think on that one. So mm-hmm. I, I, let's take it out of the schoolhouse. Right. Let's take it to the plantation. Mm. Ah. What did that look like when you had a overseer? Hey, the Bible got it. Let's get it. Yes, sir. I'll pull the script for you, yes, sir. Uh, Exodus 1 and 10. Come on. Let us deal wisely with them. Now, this is uh, the children of Israel. <laughs> this is the Egyptians speaking. Read it again. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, mm-hmm. lest they multiply and it come to pass when there falleth out any war, they join unto our enemies and fight against us. So get them let's, up let's out start, of the let's land. Let's start at verse 9 real quick. Verse 9. We'll go, verse 8, so we explain what's going verse on. Verse 8. Go ahead. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. I and mean, it didn't have no alliance <laughs> with Israel. Joseph taught the Egyptians all their laws. The, 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 what is it? The 30 something laws of Mayat. Mm-hmm. All their, it would, it, they'll say, oh, the, the Bible copied the Egyptians. No, no, mm-hmm. no. Joseph That's taught right. the Egyptians. That's, That's right. Joseph, right. Abraham mm-hmm. taught the mathematics, mm-hmm. taught them how to build pyramids. Mm-hmm. That's our knowledge. Mm-hmm. That's right. so, there came a time during the dynasties where, okay, th- this new dynasty didn't know Joseph. No respect towards Israel. 
Go ahead. And he said unto his people, behold, the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Well, these people are way better than us. That's how, you know, we influenced everything <clears throat> they had. And how are we more and mightier? The Egyptian, we always look at the Egyptian culture as so great. Right. Don't we? It's like, right. man, dude, Egyptians are so great. And white folks, they always talk about, oh, look at Egypt, look at Egypt, how they build those pyramids. Mm -hmm. But then they say right here that what? The children of Israel are what? Are more and mightier than we. So however bad you thought Egypt was, Israel right. was always better. <laughs> we're a threat. Go ahead. And on top of that, we are not the minorities. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That scripture right there proves it. That's mm. right. Go ahead. Come on. Let us deal wisely with them. Because of that fact that they better than us and there's more of them, we got to deal wisely with them. Come on. Lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. So if there ever came alliances with them and other people, hey, we finished. Right. The mighty empire of Egypt would fall. <laughs> Quickly to the Israelites. That was their fear. Right. So let's, let's, let's use wisdom here, y'all. We got to counsel on this. How do we keep them beneath us? Read. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. That's that Damn. word, Officer Nahum. Here it is. Yep. Overseers. Overseers. So it's the same thing today. Like, hey, who you see patrolling our neighborhoods? Uh oh. Bring it out. Those same people, them boys in blue. That's yep. what they call them in the streets. Yep. Bruh. So, you know, they come out and they check in. You know, I remember back in the days, they used to snatch people up, you know, or beat them up. Hmm. And they still doing it today, the year 2023. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Therefore, did they set right there? That's what's going on. We don't read about it. That's what I was going to say. That's exactly what's going on. Hit it again. You show that Indiana Jones. Yeah. Oh man. Gosh. Go ahead. Therefore, did they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens? That's their purpose. Yeah. The afflict is harm. It's not that the bird is not, oh, we'll give you a job. This is the, or some, no, no, we want you harm. We want you under oppression. That's what that's right. Is. Right. Come on. What the hell is this? And they built for Pharaoh, Treasure Cities, Python, and Ramses. Just like America was built on the backs of slaves. Egypt. Right. Old Egypt was built. Now, this is new Egypt we in. Mm -hmm. That's why on the back of your dollar bill, a lot of y'all may not know that coming out of Christian church. They're not breaking that down. Ask your pastor, what's that pyramid doing on the back of the dollar bill? What's Bruh. that seeing eye of Ra? Mm. <laughs> why is that on the back of pastor? Why is there why is there pagan symbols and deities on the back of our money? Right. You know, they just believe in Jesus, believe in God, and put that money in that plate. That's what I say. All he's gonna say is, hey, better render to Caesar what is that? Why is there a, why is there a big old old bliss? Yeah, the old bliss, but right. actually so Washington D.C. and Washington D.C. Look, that, that's 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 supposed to be a penis. That's right. what yes, that is. That's what the old bliss stands for. Yep. And he said, if you fold it and put it in an envelope, you won't see it anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> there it is. A new a new coeptus. Uh, if I'm saying that right, yep, mm -hmm. a new coeptus, and it's, it's literally you. sitting in a desert. Right, literally. sitting in a desert. I never paid attention to that. That's crazy. Yeah, I gotta check. Take take out a piece of your money before you give it to Pastor, and look at it. It's like, what 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 mean of this? Oh, we in Egypt all over again. Mm. We got those taskmasters all over again. Hey, y'all, so can uh, can I get a uh, scripture real quick yeah. for um, Exodus five and fourteen? Because when I was watching that movie, the Django, they had a uh, uh, you know you usually have your taskmaster. Did you say the Django? Yes, yeah, he did. I can't say it right. <laughs> I now. appreciate that uh, slide. Uh, Thank you, officer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Django. I just want to pick. <laughs> You are the Northern Kingdom. He's the Northern just Kingdom forgive person. Him, just In case we didn't him. introduce him right. Give him. It's Officer Isikoff. It's, it's, it's El Django. It's a cool Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. The D is silent. That's why, that's why God said don't vex Ephraim, but y'all breaking the laws, man. Y'all call yourself holy. Y'all call yourself holy. Go ahead. Hey, you been hanging with Hezekiah. Exodus 5 and 14. Bring it out. Book of Exodus chapter 5 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. And the officers of the children of Israel. So the officers, right? So you had men that they picked from the Israelites, right? Go ahead. Which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them. Mm -mm. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So you had taskmasters, but then you had them coons that had to work right. for the taskmasters. So mm. you, yeah, you had the overseer, which was the the, the so called white man in the church, you know, watching us uh, uh, teach John three sixteen to the congregation. But the white the, the the white man was still in there. You know what I'm saying? So when we read the Bible, it hasn't changed, right? Read that one more time. 
and the officers of the children of Israel, mm. which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, mm. were beaten. They were beaten because guess what? If they don't do what the white man says, they get beaten. They get their job stripped from them. That's what we, we're going to find out. Sometimes you get paid leave. Sometimes you don't get paid leave. Yep. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, this taskmaster stuff has been happening for a long time. Hmm. But in that, in that, in that movie, <laughs> in that movie, um, was it Samuel L. Jackson? Yep. Oh my God! I just I, I didn't like the movie just because of that. Yeah. They always gotta have that one coon in there, and right. some people don't know what a coon is. I, f- but. I forgot the uh, the the black guy in life, life. Uh, who's like telling about the gun line, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, right. that's the same person we're reading right right here. Right, in the right. <laughs> Dang, that's hey, some heavy yeah. stuff, right? That's yeah. a good scripture, because mm-hmm. like Esau puts people. It's, it's tears of power, mm-hmm. and he'll right. use your people against you. In slavery, when you got beaten, whipped, most often it was another slave doing the whipping. Mm-hmm. Like Twelve years mm-hmm. a slave. They showed that uh, I forget this. Um, the uh, Lupita Nyong'o, that's her name. She was the uh, yeah, that's it. Lupita <laughs> Lupita Nyong'o. She was also in Wakanda forever. And we need that reading rainbow thing again. Nope, nope. That's, that's how you say it. Like, that's how you say it. Like, I'm just like. <laughs> she was uh, beaten when she was getting beaten initially. It was a it was, a, it was the guy Sol- Solomon. I think his name was Solomon. Yeah. And he had to beat her, and he wasn't doing it right. He wasn't doing it to the white man's specifications. Right. Doing by the way, I do it, and he, he tore her right. to pieces. Right. Mm-hmm. He tore her to pieces. It was just nonstop. Non-stop. Non-stop pop. So there, there, there's church overseers now? There's like pa- the pastors? Yes. Like pastors mm. that, that run our, our, our churches. So it looked like a nice face, a nice black or Hispanic face. Yeah. But he's still teaching that John 316, mm-hmm. you know, that white man doctrine. That's easy. Bruh. Everybody. You got to get a script on that. Uh, Turn the other cheek. Right, Turn the right. other cheek. <laughs> give me that about the, for, the, the dumb dogs. Isaiah 56, man. They were like, forgive your enemies. Pray for those that persecute you. They're in positions of leadership. Now, we talk about pastors for a second. Let me get back to the police. Yeah, yeah, Because Tyree Nichols, we got some articles, too. We got to get to that. Uh, what we got first? We got a video? Okay, we'll get to that next. Let's read that real quick. Let's the book of up pastors. The book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-six, and verse ten. Bring it out. His watchmen are blind. So that's the, the the officers left in charge now. The leadership, quote unquote, we have in the black community. They're what? They are are blind. What good is a blind watchman? <laughs> watch. How are you gonna watch when you can't see? Hey. Come what the on. hell is this? They are all ignorant and they stupid. They are all dumb dogs. Can't they bark. Can, they cannot bark. It's saying like the very thing they're supposed to do, they <laughs> right. can't do it. Right. You have one job. <laughs> Watchman, you have one job. Watch. I can't see. <laughs> dogs, you got one job. Bark. I can't say nothing. <laughs> so then pastor's supposed to teach the Bible. Hmm. Yes, it's one job. Jesus is black. I don't know it. It's in there. <laughs> right, right. It's, in there. Right. it's in there. Teach me the Bible. I don't know it. It's sealed. <laughs> Go ahead. Did it? Sleeping. Lying down, loving to slumber. Come on. Yea, they are greedy dogs. Come on. Which can never have enough. Come on. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Mm-hmm. They all look to their own way. Mm-hmm. Everyone for his gain. Sounds like some tithing right there. Right. From his quarter. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, that's the whole mentality of our leadership, the, the taskmasters. Right. They're not going to help you. You got to understand their mentality. It, not just the... Uh, pastors but look at the police sometimes yep, you gotta look that way because they, they're about themselves there's self-preservation they're gonna mm-hmm. do what they want to do well, and some, we're gonna see that with these but something officers. bad happens they do send the pastors and the police they send the pastors they and, the police. and the police yeah, what, what, what right. is that that system that they have where the i think the um the um the clergy rides it's called a ride along or something like that Wow. They ride with the police. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. Y'all before. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I've seen that before. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And they ride with them and it's supposed to, it's supposed to be like some type of peace type thing. Yeah. And pacify. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's you the ultimate authority about? right yeah, there. Devils. Mm. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's, that's like the ultimate authority. It's like I got your law enforcement and your faith right, right here in the car. Mm. You're going to believe and you're going to submit. Right. What else? Bruh. Man. Let's go ahead and play that first video of our brother mm. Tyree getting put to death by his own people. And eat him like, in a recent opinion piece on CNN.com, Van, um, you wrote the police who killed Tyree Nichols were black, but they might still have been driven by racism. Mm. And I was struck by the part of the piece where you wrote this. 
One of the sad facts about anti-black racism is that black people ourselves are not immune to its pernicious effects. Society's message that black people are inferior, unworthy, and dangerous is pervasive. Over many decades, numerous experiments have shown that these ideas can infiltrate black minds as well as white. Self-hatred is a real thing. Mm. Um, so you want to stop right there? Okay. That's a lot. That's a mouthful. Mm. Bring it out. I, I'm gonna let y'all speak on it. That, that's to me. It's like, hey, Van Jones usually be crying and stuff. But that's a that's a good point right there. Yeah, self hatred is a real thing. Now, I don't know if y'all want to yeah. speak on it. Y'all go yeah, ahead. I got I got a scripture. Um, that that definitely hits that point because we talking about impasses and and let's get Second Corinthians four verse three. All right. Um, because again, when we, you know, when we go out in the streets, uh, we see children, we see, we see grown men come with, uh, come in front of us with guns, right? Mm -hmm. With guns, drugs, right. and we in these, we in these hoods talking to, to our people, trying to show them the vision, trying to show them that God looks like them, Christ looks like them, Moses, Paul, and sometimes, you know, you see the love. You know of of the Bible and and then when you give them the the truth, right? You're like, dang, oh, my ancestors were like that. You know, we tell them they weren't Pharaoh. They, you know, Pharaoh had us in slavery, That's right. and now we in Egypt again. You know, so we try to give that understanding and and like the Bible says, where there's no vision, the people perish. So this scripture right here is gonna say something. Read that. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter four and verse three. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. But if our gospel be hid. Mm -hmm. It is hid to them that are lost. That's the 12 tribes of Israel that are scattered abroad. Read. In whom the God of this world. Now, that's the point. The God of this world in the, in the Bible is talking about who? It's talking about the people that are in power. It's talking about in, in Christ's time, the Romans. Today, we still in an extension of Rome. That's the this white Jesus, the, the Zeus, the Jupiter. Go ahead. The God of this world mm -hmm. have blinded the minds of them which believe not. So when you go to these religions, you find out that our people really don't believe in the Bible because the Bible right. says that we black, you know, and we're 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 beautiful people. You know, what I'm saying God is the author of beauty. Read. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, uh -huh. who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So unless the image of God is shown unto them, you know what I'm saying? They have to be able to see that being black and woolly hair. Like the, the article just said mm -hmm. that it's like uh, you're inferior. Mm -hmm. We're not inferior. The Bible says we're special. Deuteronomy mm -hmm. 7 and 6. You know what I'm yep. saying? So once we teach that to them. Hey, now, now you see our people repenting, coming back to these laws. So I just thought about that scripture when, when that that article said we're inferior. Well, right. the whole thing about the the inferior part it goes <laughs> back to Leviticus nineteen seventeen. Mm. That's right. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay, it's hatred. You know, yep. you're inferior to your brothers because you hate them. That is that crab in a barrel mm. uh, yep. syndrome that they, that we have a lot of. That you don't want right. to see another black person prosper and look or uh, do better than you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Yeah, and it, this is a new face of white supremacy as well. Mm. Black people, five black guys. It's a new face of white supremacy. It looks different. They repackaged it, mm. but it's the same thing. But we use your people. It's more confusion. Ultimate you can't black tell. Face. It's, yeah, it's, it's ultimate black face. Yeah, yeah. And it sounded. They didn't sound like cops. Damn. Uh, we, we, is that all in that video? Is there more to the Van Jones clip? Yeah, I think he explains it. A he further. explains it a little further. Yes, sir. Uh, let's let them burn a little bit. Let's y'all got something. Now it said officers. Yeah. It says the officers of the children of Israel. So those are officers. Yeah, those are officers. Those, those, those well, police officers. Police officers. <laughs> Same thing. The authority figures. Yeah. Hey, you know it's uh, heavy too. In, in Deuteronomy twenty eight thirty seven says, "And thou shalt become an astonishment in a proverb." Mm -hmm. So it's like we actually fit those stereotypes. So when, it, when our people they look at us, our own people look at us like that, like niggas in the street, you know, not worthy of life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Bruh. And they teach that. They teach that in the um. What's it called? The police academy. Because I had a friend that went to uh, the police academy. He told me that they give them the percentage. When they teach them stuff, when they teach them stuff, they give them the percentage of how many times you get killed at a traffic stop or, you know, things of that nature. And they tell mm -hmm. you what race usually shoots you. Yeah. So they that already, <laughs> they already, yeah, they already give them the statistics mm -hmm. of, uh, okay, black people are dangerous. Right. And the right. black and Hispanic <clears throat> targets at the shooting range. Yeah. 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 Oh, my so God. I hate it. that. I hate that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, play that a little more. And we got, we got a bunch more clips. Right, right. right. Do you going. believe this racial bias played a role in the officers' behaviors? Yeah, I, I do because, um, first of all, uh, uh, black people are at risk from police no matter what color. Uh, black, white, brown, you talk to African Americans, they'll tell you, um, it, it doesn't matter. There's this per pervasive view from law enforcement 
that if you're black, you're dangerous. Mm -hmm. And I think some people think, oh, well, so a white police officer going after a black person, you understand the racial implications. The problem is uh, there are whole neighborhoods that in many cities are just considered by police departments kind of war zones and anything goes there. And so um, I think we have to have a more nuanced view of what's going on to root out a racism. It's not just about having black cops or white cops or brown cops. It's about having cops that are trained to respect everyone and who are disciplined and punished when they don't. And when okay, you don't, you, you stop him because like he's going into make believe land. Because, yeah, mm -hmm. um, right. What he's forgetting is this <laughs> entire country is exactly. built on white supremacy. Exactly. Therefore, the arm of the white man, his law enforcement arm, is going to be racist. Yes, yeah, right. No right. matter what you try to teach the fingers, the whole shoulder, arm, and elbow is racist. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, teach the fingers right, to be right. to be uh, pacifists. No, they 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 are conditioned to whoop ass. That, and, and that's the thing. And this was keeps coming out. Look right, right. But not, the that's the whole thing. Like I had mentioned before on a, uh, a couple of other radio shows that we done had, that they train them that way. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you are looking to get a paycheck, you're going to do exactly what you've been trained to do. That's right. That's right. That's just the bottom line. By the mm -hmm. books. Let's just go to the next video because there's some good stuff in here. There's some surprising connections in here. Not this next video. This next video is going to be uh, with a fellow officer. This is our former Memphis cop speaking on the murder of Tyree Nichols. Mm. All right. Now, and those of y'all that may not know, we didn't really explain it. Maybe you haven't seen it. Tyree Nichols is the black man that was beat to death on video from several angles. If you missed it, and some people might have missed it. Mm. He's beat to death by five black police officers, giving him haymakers, holding him up and beating him down. And he died from his wounds from getting hit. I think they hit him with a nice stick. With a nice stick. Yeah, multiple yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. I, what the hell is the this? The baton. Yeah, he got yeah. jumped. Same thing. Yeah. He got jumped. And it was like a gang yes, brutal beat right. down. Yeah. Brutal Stomped beat him down. and everything. Stomped him down. Stomped down by the boys in blue with the uh, badge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you'll play this from the former Memphis officer. Because this happened in Memphis, Tennessee. So this is a, a Memphis police officer. He don't look like it. But <laughs> that's him. But go ahead. You know, I left the department in the end of 2021 after five years of service. And people ask me all the time, what do you think about the Tyree Nickel incident moving forward? And, and there are some points that I want to point out uh, after watching the video and kind of seeing what's been going on in Memphis uh, that I think will be really interesting to you. So two of the five officers I did patrol with personally and did have a personal relationship with two of the five. So I'm going to be talking from a personal standpoint and from a standpoint as a former Memphis police officer and what I see moving forward. And even though I know two of the five personally and I patrol with them personally and had a relationship with them, this in no way excuses any of their actions that partook about two weeks ago with the Tyree Nichols incident. All right, that is a good setup. He said it does not excuse them just because I know them. I understand that sentiment. It, there's more. Here it is. The first thing I want to talk about, which is utter BS, is you'll see a lot of conservatives, excuse me, conservatives, you'll see a lot of forward conservatives that say, why did he run? He would still be alive if he ran. That's not a guarantee. So the first thing that came out was that this all started because this was a reckless driving. But now the chief of the department is saying that there is no evidence of reckless driving, which means you can't say that if he never ran, that he would still be alive when the stop was illegal in the first place. Damn. Now, I have had to pull out people, mm. rip people out of a car aggressively at gunpoint with foul language many a times. But most of those people were murderers, robbers, sexual assaulters, the worst of the worst, where you needed to meet violence with violence. Never once did I put my gun in the face of somebody who I suppose for reckless driving, right? So from the get-go, you have a man who was not guilty of anything fleeing from the police because he's scared because he doesn't even know why he's getting pulled over in such an aggressive manner. So as a black male, I probably would have ran too. Hold and I was up. The Hold mm. up. Yeah, that, mm. You and the spirit, you started at the right point. Go ahead, Alice. Because Because he's a former police officer. Right. Damn. And he's making the point that even me being black, I would have ran from the damn same force mm -hmm. that I was on. Because like we just mentioned, that it's not for us. It doesn't matter if you're black or you're white. The system is against us. Mm -hmm. That's he, right. He said he would have been scared for his life. And he's not a small guy. This guy, he, he, right. he tatted up and muscled out. And he's saying, he, a former cop who knows the cops, right. and saying, if those cops would have pulled me over, I would have ran too. Exactly. Right. Bruh. So, so it's not about being innocent before being proven guilty. Right. That right. Is, You're guilty right. before 
what do you say? How do you say guilty, guilty before, before uh, proven innocent? innocent. Yeah. That's right. That's right? how it works in America. Exactly. So when he was getting ripped out of that car, it was like, bro, you are you guilty. You guilty for being mm. black. Like some mm. on some Judge Dredd. Y'all remember the movie Judge Dredd? Yeah. Right, right, right. Street Judge. I I'm innocent. The law. I am the law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm innocent. I knew you. Stop it. <laughs> he said, hey, I, I, they would judge them on the spot, mm. meaning they would kill them. Yep. Like he's right. judge, jury, and executioner. Yep. And that's what we got rolling around here. Dang. Mm. Go ahead. Five years. He said, I was with the police five He makes years, an interesting but true statement. Now, he also said, uh, said that he didn't know why he was being pulled over, talking about Mr. Nichols. Maybe he did. Maybe that's why he ran. Who knows? Nobody will actually know because he's dead. He has mm. no due process hey, anymore. Hey. Hey, my bad. Hey, they, they always say this right here: dead man don't speak. Right. Mm -hmm. Dead man tell no tell. What? But we do got the next little. Clip. It's not an It's a, it's more of an article. Can we pull up that picture? Can I write quick, officer? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Hey, I don't. That I, I hate those statements because they beat him to the point where he was he couldn't do anything. It's not like they beat him, got a control of the situation and stopped right. or tried to restrain him. No, they beat this man till he could not move. It, it seemed like it, was, like it was personal. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. it was hey, personal. Yep. Hey, it was so personal. They had him in restraints. They, they were holding him. So and the and the man the man the man was struggling, you know, he trying he could he couldn't even block the punches. Right. Or, or right, the blow, right. not punches. He did get punched. He definitely but, punched, yeah. But he couldn't even block the the blows of the nightstick. You don't, you don't find that eight. suspicious. So one of the first things they called him when he when he, before he even pulled him out the car. Is, Get out the car, B A nigga. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> like that yeah. was the off bat. Right. Like that's not professional. No. Yeah. And they never told him. You know, they, they weren't telling him why. But uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's read this right here. What we got pulled up? Y'all can't see this on um, while you listen to the radio. But what does this say? All right. Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity revokes membership of three former Memphis officers. Wait a minute. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, what's pictured is the five men that beat Tyree Nichols. Wow. Mm. So these are three college graduates. These are three college yep. graduates yep. Mm. who are uh, also, coincidentally, <laughs> part of a Greek fraternity. Uh -oh. What? There it is. That's the culture. Now, wait a minute. Mm. You mean to tell me that fraternities make you think you're better than the rest of your people? Oh, yeah. uh -oh. Mm. I just had this conversation with somebody this week. I can't remember who I was talking to. But the fraternity, they'll have you come out of college. You're not the same as other black people. Right. Mm -hmm. You done did the handshakes. You done got hazed. Right. You done right. ate stuff off a cracker that you shouldn't have ate. A whole <laughs> bunch of stuff. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, according to a lot of these uh, fraternities, um, it's about morals. Mm -hmm. You know, especially with the black fraternities. Mm -hmm. It's about morals. So basically what they're doing there, they're shaming them. Yeah. That's shaming them right there. It's like you, yep. you're supposed to be about morals, about your people, et cetera, et cetera. And you're going to go and you're going to kill one of your own. Hmm. Yeah. That's one of the things like unity, brotherhood, scholarship. That, yeah, yeah. There you go. The brotherhood. Yeah, exactly. Bring it out. Yeah, supposed to be. Sounds good. But look what look at the fruits of it, though. Exactly. Bruh. Those are the men that killed their brother. It's Greekish fashions. Yeah. Omega sci-fi. That's Greek. And, and and you've seen that because when a lot of these fraternities, when they had these little parties and things like that, you see them be wilding out, in yeah. other mm -hmm. words, right? And when we seen, I seen the full 30 uh, minutes of, of the uh, Tyree Nicholson beating, right? And murder, right? Yep. And you could actually hear them not necessarily applauding, but it was like, oh, man, I had them. I was chasing them down. Mm -hmm. You could hear them having that type of conversation. Right. Like they were rooting each other on like it was some type of competition on who going to get them first. Right. Right, 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 right. right, right. And then they, like the after the after part. And like if you look at the cam footage, we can't, you know, you can't see it on the radio, but it was purposely not looking at the fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Other thing like a, a, a child could get more footage of what was going on. Like right. the guy got on body cam and he's looking the opposite direction. But you could tell he's looking at the fight with his head. But his body is turned a whole different direction. Right. Mm, like right. he look like he running backwards looking at the fight. Right. You can tell that's what's going on. Yeah, that's, that's deliberate. That's suspicious. But three out of the five will make a sci fi. Mm -hmm. Bruh. I bet all five are Christians though. Oh yeah. Oh wow. What church yep. they go to? Ain't nobody ever it asking is. that. What church yeah. they go to? Yeah. All five of them probably Christians. Ain't, ain't nobody gonna ask that. All Baptists. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next. 
What we got there? We got um. This is some hey, footage. Uh, this is rest in peace, Tyree Nichols. Let's get some audio going. I think this is just showing what what happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this 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 is yeah, the clip that there, everybody yeah. saw. Everybody saw this clip here. I got, so, when my husband and I got to the hospital, that's his mother. And I saw my son. He was already gone. They had beat him to a pulp. He just kicked him in the face. He had bruises all over him. His head was swollen like a watermelon. Mm. Mm. His neck was busting because of the swelling. They broke his neck. Mm. Mm. Broke his neck. My son's mm. nose looked like an S. What is, what is she like saying? An S. They actually just beat the crap. Yeah. You, it's part of them. Wow. They broke his nose to look oh, okay. like S. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, you yeah. familiar with that? Yeah. Nose familiar. break that thing. Right. Mm hmm. Broke his neck. I Said never his heard head swollen like a watermelon. Yeah, I broke his neck. And it's like, she's saying it. Well, they don't do it justice to what they did to him. They permanently disfigured the man. Even if he did live, he would be permanently disfigured. Exactly. Yeah. And, and and the thing is, is that when you are restrained, you got your hands cuffed behind your back and you're receiving a lot of blunt forces. Yeah. Right? Blunt trauma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not going to sit there comfortably. How no. many of us have banged our knee? banged our elbow on right. something and you 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 sat there and just say ouch never nope. that's bring it. it out you walking around the house you rubbing your arm you trying mm -hmm. to find a different place where you could find some level of comfort, comfort right yeah mm -hmm. yep so this guy is restrained you know what i'm saying same thing with george floyd right he was uncomfortable so he's trying to move to find some level of comfortability while you apprehended him but yet you saying that he's resisting the rest yeah. right evil yeah, yeah, holding his arm back. Come on, now. wrenching the other arm, saying then, lay on. Then his he stomach. died like right yeah. beside his house, or like three blocks away from his mother's house, like yeah, hundred yeah, feet from his house. Him. Yeah, he wasn't that far from his yeah. house. Yeah. He tried, he tried calling for. Yeah, yeah he was calling. Call, call that thing, that thing hurt me. With Yo, the little breath that he I was had. like, that took me back to George Floyd. It's like, dang, dude, call for his mom. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's that's the, that's the fear. That he, let's it's get that real all, quick. It's, yeah, it's that fear because death was right there. Yeah, he felt it. That he knew that. Hey, you know what? It's nothing else I could do. He just knew. He knew. That's right. This is it. Yep, this 28 and 66. Could yeah. you just imagine what was going on in his mind after he literally sat in his own living room? 65. Right? Sat in his own living room and watched the news of George Floyd. Yeah, he's seen that. Of how he died. Yeah, I mean, he's he witnessed that. that. He witnessed Everybody that. Everybody's saw seen that. that. Message. And, and to see himself down on the ground, relentlessly getting beaten by these men mm -hmm. to a pulp, like his mom said. Yeah. And he knew that there was no help coming. You can Bring it out. Smell it. You can probably see it on their faces. Like we can't see their faces as they right. coming to you. You ever come on, like five guys, right? And they ain't, they ain't no five guys burgers and fries. They come in five guys. They about to kill you. Exactly. Five guys and they they all want to kill you. You imagine what that looked like. You go, mama. Right. Mom. Right. Face right. mask, ski mask on. Yeah. Mm. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 65 That's a curse in the Bible That's right And among these nations Shalt thou find no ease Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest But the Lord shall give thee who there give Who gonna give it? But the Lord shall give thee there As a punishment for breaking the commandments A trembling heart God gives us a trembling heart A mind that's full of fear Read And failing of eyes mm. And sorrow of mind Come on And thy life Shall hang in doubt before thee. That's it right there. That's his, That's why he called for his mother. His life hung in doubt. Yo. I think he lives. He's like, I'm going to die. Mama, I'm, I'm going to die. Look at these cops. They look like me and they're going to kill me. It wasn't look, he, he wasn't calling for mama like, you know, she, she was going to come to his aid. Like, you know how he was when you was right, little. Right. You called for mama because you know you're about to get in some trouble. Right, right. And mama was going to protect you from getting in trouble. No, he knew. That he was getting ready to die. Yeah, it's crazy. He was serious. Message. He wasn't no joke. He's not putting on like. Oh, and then yeah. he ended up dying from that thing. That's some. That's some other spiritual stuff right there. And then so they this had, is the end they, of my life. They had. Bruh. They had him sitting up against the police car. Yeah. Talking crap. Like they just barely like yeah like they just wrestled him a little bit. They tried to beat him to death. Right. Yeah. But there's more to it. What you got next? Yeah, I want the one that talks about his picture. Memphis officer texted the picture. Not that one. Not that one. I don't want that. Go to the... It might be the last one. 
That's the police. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, I guess somehow I didn't get on there. But um, turns out one of the officers, it, it's, it's a lot of uh, inconsistencies. Again, the, the man is dead, so you can't really go back and ask him, you know, did you know these guys? Was there something going on? Time might tell. Hey, uh, hey officer, in that, in that last uh, scripture we just read, you pointed out that the Lord was going to give us a trembling heart there. Yeah. The, the question to all you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans listening is, how much longer does this need to continue for right. you to wake up, man? Message. People getting put to death in the streets weekly, afflicting, getting afflicted weekly, and we still just like to point it towards the cops. And right. It's this entire the system. Enemy. Yes. Right. That's, that's the thing about it is that we try to blame our enemy for everything right. Right. when the problem is really us. Yeah. yeah. That's right. There it is. So let's read that real quick. Because uh, Officer Jeremiah was talking about how he was pent up against the, the police car and they just kind of laughing. And they, 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 like we come back from teaching at camp, how we have our little discussions. Like, yeah, yeah, that was good. And they was having that right there. It's like, man, right. mm-hmm. you know, we had, you know he, he touched you. He did. Like, one man don't deserve that much. You don't act right. like this man's neck ain't broken, his nose broken, <laughs> his head swollen. But That's even, not how they talking. Hey, also, Clean look, stuff. if you find, if you watch those movies where they have like corrupt cops, yes. usually they beat the they beat somebody like that whenever right. he was like their snitch or something yep. like that, or they he owed them money or uh-huh. he did something. Mm-hmm. That's when they beat him like that. Damn. Like, 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 remember they said they can't find out why they stopped him and why why would they kill him? Why would they? He, like, it man, was no traffic some, stop. You going somewhere? It was no traffic right. stop. Bring it out. That thing. You on to something? That thing with was that. crazy. Hit. That, yeah, it's a hit. They it's knew like, him. Matter of fact, that's why I said, BS reason. That's why I said it was it's personal. personal. Yeah, yeah. yeah Palaya so said, uh, Officer Palaya said, um, they called him a what? A, 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 a BA nigga. When yeah, he, right. so so they, I, you, I know you, bro. You owe me that stuff or whatever. You did this yeah, and I didn't like it. Good. Mm-hmm. Right. And yeah. like like back in the day, back in um the, the 80s and the 90s, um, when the police used to do this from, you know, when I was up north, staying up there uh, before I came down here to North Carolina, um, the police will literally beat you and take your drugs and take your money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll literally do that. We've seen it. That's also an uh, American gangster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Police shake you, shake, uh, shake you down. Yeah. Take yeah. all your money that you just made from off the street In the and tell right you up. that you got to pay me to keep doing what you're doing. If you don't pay mm-hmm. me, then I'm going to beat you up and put you in prison. Mm. I've, I've witnessed it personally, officer. They will come, put brothers in handcuffs, Throw them in the back of the car and beat, beat them, them and beat them. And then yep. they, no processing or nothing. Uncuff them and let them walk right back yep. on the streets. Yep. Mm. No yep. conversation. Just beat them and, right and, there. And, in the and car. back in those times, there was no tenant windows. Right. right. On the police car. Training so day. Everybody saw it. Training day. <laughs> Training yeah. day. Mm. That's hey. it. There ain't no one. Remember, he went in the house. I ain't no one. He came in there right. with a Chinese paper right. looking for some money to take. Exactly. So the police is the extortioners. Mm. Right. That's right. Ass mass. And the overseers. What? Overseers. You give the mm. corrupt people. Ultimate power, what are they gonna do with it? They're gonna be righteous? They didn't sound like no righteous cops. They didn't sound like protect and serve. Mm-mm. So let's no, read that. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Memphis, that's, that's, it's that's been that's a while. The second time it happened. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't read the Hey, hey pull out. Hold on a second. That's our little segment right there. You can't keep dropping the ball like that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you, you do. You know. His it's crystals okay. ain't lined up. He's like, his crystals ain't working. <laughs> Memphis police <laughs> officer. The moon ain't shining right. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yes. dance with the devil in the black room. With the pale moon like. <laughs> Memphis police officer texted picture of Tyree Nichols following beating. So that goes back to, well, oh, sister Cussie, he's touching on something. Why would you text the picture of the, you should be like, oh man, we're in trouble. Nah, it was, uh, we Let's got him. this poor man some help. Nah, it's like, look, we at, look what we did. We got him. Or mm-hmm. if you don't give me the money, this is how it's going to happen to you. Now we just speculating, yeah. but that's, that's yeah. proof. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. proof and evidence that they know him. That's yeah. right. personal. Man, man. Go ahead. A Memphis police officer has admitted to using his personal cell phone to send out a picture of Tyree Nichols after he was brutally beaten and arrested on January 7th. What? Demetrius Haley admitted to sending a photograph of Nichols bleeding and half conscious. Damn. To at least five people. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nah, five people. Not five people. Mm. He sent it just to his, his commanding officer or something. You, you don't find said, that that's suspicious. That's not even how you do that. It's not a police report. This is for fun. Look who it says. Mm. Mm. 
including two fellow officers. Hmm. I got them. A civilian employee of the department. Wait a minute. A civilian? Why would a civilian? That's top. That's like, isn't that classified like top secret? Right. Mm-hmm. This is like, right. a, what, what's the word for that? Uh, this, this is pertaining to a case. You know, uh, tampering the evidence. Mm. We can't uh, get the, We can't get the body cam until the police release it. You said right. this to civilians. Read on. And a female acquaintance. Wait a minute. You sending it? You sending it? Because ain't his yep, wife. It's yep, a female your acquaintance. Piece, yes. Why would you Why even do something like that? Something going that, on here. There's definitely something like going on. Is it, mm. they fight? Is he jealous over him over a woman or it's it got to be something, right? You just you just don't do something like that, and then you just sharing and you releasing information, sensitive information like that to just regular people. It says civilian employees of the department and a mm. female acquaintance. Bruh. So that's Don't like smell right. that's like mm-hmm. literally saying that, hey, you know, I want to show them that I just accomplished what what I attended to. Right. We spoke about. Exactly. I ain't exactly. heard Doc, I ain't heard uh, Umar Johnson one time. Where Umar at? Uh oh. Yeah. Mm. Where Umar at? Mm. Spotlight. Yeah, just turn Where you at? Where just Umar turn, at? Just turn it down suspicious. a little bit. Just turn it down a little Where bit. Where Umar at? You don't find that suspicious. I appreciate you, you Umar. Fine. A- absolutely. You, you moving slow, man. You trying to mess with that school. Come on now. It's hey. suspicious. Hey, hey, you know what else is suspicious too? The fact that these police officers were were fired. All this uh how you say judgment came out immediately. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, there's th- something they covering up there. It came out, of yeah, course, because you know, they wait. black. Right? Well, well, a lot of it too. That. A lot of it too. It, you know, Esau ain't getting off the hook here, even right. though we know that these these are brothers. Here. Well, you know, Esau <laughs> is not getting off the hook. Well, with they, this they, thing here. well officially they did get off the hook because there was another cop. Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Mm. The Caucasian exactly. cop, and he did get off the hook. And he, and even even with all that there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, all right, so we got five black officers that beat one of their own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And at all the attention is based off of a focus on police reform, uh, different solutions and different things like that. Mm-hmm. Less attention on the protest. Mm-hmm. Less attention on possible civil unrest. Right. But when you have a white guy, a white officer, several, multiple times of white, uh, white officers kill a black you know person a right. black man mm-hmm. they'll focus all of the attention on the civil unrest mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. of the people and less attention on police reform there you go those the things devil. that are important right so right. they are not off the hook on this thing right right i, right. I got some more evidence I'm, I'm throwing some more audibles go back to the uh-huh. broadcast channel you gotta check this out now remember that name demetrius haley that's what we just read about he sent the picture to five people y'all with me mm-hmm. mm. he sent the picture to five people <laughs> including one <laughs> what does this article say? Demetrius Haley didn't tell Tyree Nichols why he'd been pulled over. Wait a minute, the same guy. The Come Memphis on. cop was talking on the phone during the stop documents show. Wow. Where Umar at? Mm. Where Umar at? Mm. Hey, wow. hey, that's suspicious. Hey, that's dude. Very suspicious. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, we got that nigga right here. We got, Is this right got him right here. This Is him? this him? That's this him? the reason of the pictures. Why? Hey, what you want me to do? I'm telling you. Something ain't right. Something don't smell right. Read on. Former Memphis officer he Demetrius Haley uh-huh. never told Tyree Nichols why he was pulled over. That's part of the protocol. That's why they put pointing it out. That's what the uh, the brother said in the car. The uh, the other former cop. Now let's see. What's, how, how did Haley come up to him? Department records records. records. Department records say Haley approached Nichols while talking on a cell on a phone in a black hoodie. That doesn't sound like oh. police. That was like a police uniform. That don't even look like a hell is this? Hoodie. It's a like a, man. like a regular N word. I'm getting robbed. And I know he wasn't no. <laughs> right. I know he wasn't no detective either. No, right. he a regular cop. He. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah. He yelled profanities. He a oh mm. something's going on here. Despite no evidence that Nichols ever swore. At or threatened officers. So they're saying unprovoked. He already on 11 cussing this man out Bruh. in a regular hoodie mm. on the phone with somebody. Something's off. That's that's what I was getting ready to say. There's only two things. Well, I ain't going to say more, but two primary things that would cause a black man to act like this. Bring it out. Mm-hmm. Bring and it it's, out. It's, it's, it's <laughs> green money. There it is. And the twat. There you mm. go. Right. Money right. and women. Jump down to where it says that you was exited. It. I, that's why I said, I'll tell you. It's, Go ahead. It had to be. It's, 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 oh, you gotta, it's hey, too you gotta much. Read that. <laughs> hey, oh, you got to read that other paragraph on the top. It went. It put in some more information. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Scroll back up real quick. Right here. 
when Tyree yeah. Nichols was pulled over at E. Reigns in Ross Rolls in Memphis on January 7th, a Memphis officer wearing a black hoodie jumped out of his unmarked car. Oh, oh. snap. I ain't catch that. <laughs> unmarked why. car. Mm. And approached him yelling profanities while talking on a phone. Don't nothing about that scream police to me. Nope. Don't nothing about that. No. Mm. It's, it's, no. I'm in trouble. I'm about to die from something else. I would run mm. to. I'm hauling ass from that. Right. That, don't, that don't make no sense. Come on. According to po- to a police dissertation record provided to Insider. Now jump down. Dang. Go jump down where it says you exited. You exited. Now your, this is a quote. Come on. You exited. This is your, the charges against the officer, by the way. Go ahead. Your unmarked vehicle stopped in an opposing traffic lane. That means he's, oh, these are the things you did wrong. He breaking you lane. exited. Your unmarked vehicle stopped in opposing traffic. You're in the wrong side of the road. <laughs> right. Then in a car that's not a cop car. And you, I mean, it doesn't look like a cop car. Come on. And you forced the driver out of his vehicle while using loud profanity and wearing a black sweatshirt hoodie over your head. This is a mm. hit. This don't sound like no police stop. This is like you a murder. That's suspicious. This is like I'm coming to kill you. This is an yep. assassination. This does sound like. Come on. A statement of charges. This is so. This ain't conjecture. This ain't nothing we made up. This is the charges against the officer, y'all. Come on. Sent to Haley on January 14th reads, you never told the driver the purpose of the vehicle stop or that he was under arrest. Sir, don't you see that? I, what's was, going on here? Yeah, I was going to say that. Uh, also, the in the this? movies, you always hear, uh, hear them give you, you know, you have the right to remain silent. Like Miranda, they, right? Yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't do that in all that beating they were doing. Who, who, which right. one of the five was saying it while the other ones were mm. kicking them in the face? Right. Now they were saying, get your BA on the ground. Yeah, they were cursing yeah. at him. Right. Taking pictures. Right. That's, um, so I'm going to leave that, we're going to leave that one alone. Let's go back to where we was at. I just had to go take a little, uh, sidebar. A little, so go ahead, Austin. Hey, you know, you know the crazy thing I'm thinking about this too? The fact that they did this. Knowing they had body cameras, they sent it to people in the department. There was no fear of repercussion for this action. That's right. Meaning they've done this before mm. and have never had problems. Mm. Right. That's that, right. That's crazy. Well, well, well go back to this? that same article. Now that you said that, that's actually true. Just jump down to where it says, by the time. Mm. Now, I'll right supply right you a profit now. Let's read that. By the time of Nichols beating... Haley had already racked up a short list of departmental violations. Wait a minute. Whoa. Same cop. Problem cop. He's a problem cop. Read on. Including failure to write up a use of force report after his colleague ripped a woman out of her car in 2021 just for laughing inside uh, inside with her aunt. So she ended up laughing and he rips her out the car. Yeah, he got anger issues. Yeah. He definitely got anger issues. That's great. He an N word with a bad. And he don't like to be. The hell is this? And, and he don't mm. like to be played out. No, he don't. He got, no, he that's don't. That's what you said. Power corrupted him. He got the HMIC syndrome. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. right, 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 right. Hey, that's, that's the kind they pick for taskmasters. They, they, right. those type. Yeah, they, they look for that type. Right. Mm. Overseer. I want that scripture. Yeah, they want them men that uh, on a police force that borderline basically hate their own people. There you go. Yep. You mean like them boys in the hood? Da- bring it out. Yes, oh, yes, man. yes, yes. That's what it is. We got it. Hey, hey make, sure, yeah. make sure you bring out yeah, what, what that movie was. IT in the spirit. This is um, Boys That's in the it. Hood. Let's play it. Also, Jeremiah in the spirit. You sent that thing early. So a cop is pulling over this blue uh, bug. Driver, put your hands on the steering wheel. Mm. They got more than Tyree did. Yeah, mm-hmm. they did. Yeah. Tyree ain't get that. He got a black hoodie, no cop car. And cuss words. Absolutely. That's that war zone they was talking about where anything goes. Yep. Got any drugs or weapons on you? No. Immediately grabbed him. You think you're tough. You think you're tough, huh? It's a black cop. Yep. Got the gun to his neck. Scared now. Hey, I like that. Mm. That's why I took this job. See? Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Type three, and three, please. Yes, sir. Boy, I like that. That's why I took this job. I don't even know why his gun came out. Yeah, his gun just slid <laughs> out like he came out Notice, of nowhere. Notice he said, you scared, huh? Right. That's why I took this job. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. Bring it like out. The scale. Mm-hmm. Play that. Uh, read that real quick, the, and we're gonna play thrill it. Thrill off of that. The book of Titus, chapter three, verse three. Read. Bring it we out. ourselves were sometimes foolish, mm-hmm. disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice, living in malice, mm. and envy, envious of one another, hateful. What? Hateful. Wow. Hateful. The Israelites hateful. We're, and hating one another. And hating one, one another. another. So you give That's that it. spirit power. Yup. Comes what we see on the screen. Sound like the Sadducees and Pharisees. Mm. How they did yeah. Christ and the disciples. And the notice, spirit of murder. That's and right. notice he said, I ain't do nothing. Right. Tyree Nichols said the same thing same when he was right. getting snatched out of the car. Same thing. thing. I, I I bet you he had this movie playing in his head, man. Mm. Right mm. Before he got that Lord's will, if he if he watched it before, mm. yeah. Bruh. Play on. You gotta run back. Like you. go back by five. So you apologize for language, but that's what's going on in the head, and that's what happened in real life to um the brother. He's right getting cursed out like that. Oh yeah, yeah. He got yeah, cu- you yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go, Mister yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yep. yep. He bro. started at that part. He yep. got out the car in the black hood, the unmarked car with opposing lane traffic in the black hoodie with yep. that language. Yep. Mm-hmm. I hate you, MFs. Yep. Come on. Huh. Uh, fear on his face. I like that. That's why I took this job. Mm. I hate little m- like you. Woo! You see? You niggas, you ain't sh. Damn. Damn. Think you're tough, huh? Could blow your head off with this Smith and Wesson and you couldn't do sh. How you feel? I was about now? to point that out. You know, the, the Edomite cop is right there, like, good nigga. Good right. nigga. You right. do it. It's a good nigga. That's what I well, need you to do. Well, right. it's, 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 it's also like. Well, you know what? I'm gonna step back because he know how to deal with him because that's his own kind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. he's able to do more to them and get away with it than if I do it. Right. Yeah. Mm. And I won't. I won't get away with it. And they're more savage. It is a. I, I, I'm not gonna be able to pull the clip, but I might be able. To, we got. We got a few minutes. Rick and Morty. That's the TV show. It's a cartoon. They did the same thing, and they had like a world where it was Rick and Morty. Rick is the little kid, and Morty is the scientist guy. But they had it where. Morty is black people. Mm-hmm. Morty's equal black people. So it's like the cop was a Morty. He was just a fat looking Morty. And he's like, yeah, these Mortys are running around like the crackheads and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then the, the Rick was like, oh, these poor Mortys. He's like, man, the hell are these Mortys, man. You don't let them fool you. Right. So they go and arrest a bunch of them. The Morty cop, who's supposed to be the same race as the people he arrested, he threw a bomb in the building and blew them all up and killed them all. He's like, yeah, I took care of that problem. Wow. Mm. I wish I could play. I don't think we got time. That's crazy. Wait, they looking for it. They yeah. looking for it. You're going to have to go to the very end if you if you can find it. Hey, can just, I, that's crazy. Yeah, go ahead and get it. I, I, no, I just wanted to get one. Uh, I'm going to read it for the sake of time. Matthew yeah. 24, verse 12. Bring it out. And on. because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax, wax cold. cold. So I was, I was just thinking about that because, you know, now they're passing all these laws, transgender, LBGTQ, all that stuff. And, and Christ warned us. He said, it's going to get worse. So eventually they're gonna be doing more than this. This is just the step, the first beginning steps of this thing. Right. It's like the last minute of it. Just the last minute. Hey. This the episode. This the episode. The last minute. He found it. It's a kid's show. No, it's not. No, okay, it's I, not. I was tripping. I was like, <laughs> it is. It's the furthest thing from a kid's show. It's the last minute. But he put a lot of little social comment commentary. How long is it? Two minutes. So he got the little badge and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that the one? Scroll, scroll to the end. It should be blowing somebody. If that ain't it, then we'll just we'll just skip it. It should be like killing hey, somebody. Hey, that's crazy though. Look at that. Damn. Uh, you see how you see how he got him? That's, that's not that's not exact. police. <laughs> yeah, he got the gun to his head and everything. Yeah, you play Damn. it. That's not the exact part, but you go ahead and play it. There's a whole episode dealing with it. Wait, Morty, talking. This little cowpoke's gonna mosey up on out of here. You told me to put my faith in the right, Morty. I've got faith in you, partner. Do the right thing. Oh, Grandpa Rick, I don't want to be on the Citadel anymore. I want to be a regular go, kid. Go, you got to go back. Go, go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Right when he's about to shoot him. Right there. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right there. That's the same thing that just happened in the in the movie. Sorry, go ahead, play it. Not so big now, are you? I never was. It was figurative. That's enough. If you don't kill him, he'll talk. If you do, <laughs> I'll talk. One thing's for sure. All right, pause it. 
Yeah, yeah. You see, they're the same race. They're the same. Mm-hmm. They look exactly the same. But he's like, he's about to go kill him. He's right. saying the same stuff to him. But he, that's the that's the wrong scene. But you can go back to the boys in the hood. But it's like you got to at hey, another time. I'll bring it that's, up. That's that's interesting because you know a lot of people said back in my time, you know that uh, you you're a police officer. Yeah. But you was a punk when you was in school. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That, you trying to flex on somebody. You know, yep. you know, and, and, and flex mm-hmm. on them, you know, because you wasn't able to do it in school. Mm-hmm. Right. Game so somebody that you that that probably used to bully you or took your girl <laughs> or something like that in high school. Now right. you got a badge and a gun and you able to you see them. Now you want to take revenge. Right. Mm-hmm. Abuse that authority. That's, yeah, there you go. Yep. That same that thing right. with that whole monitor. Hey. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. Get to finish playing this. We don't, we don't got that much time. Yeah. Get to finish playing this. What set you from? Look like one of them Crenshaw Mafia. No, you probably one of them rolling 60s, huh? Huh? 12 Adam 63, we have a possible 187 in Blue VW at Corner. He crying. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like Tyree calling mama. Again, a possible 187 in Blue VW at Corner of Florence in Vermont. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, the white cops stay out of trouble. Have a nice evening. As you notice, right? As you mm-hmm. notice, he said you probably one of them rolling sixties. He's calling out the the gangs, gangs. Mm-hmm. right? So basically, it was stereotype. There you go. Right? He was Bring stereotype. You called them both gangs. He said he was a Crenshaw Mafia yeah. blood and the rolling sixty crew. Yeah. And, and my dad, my dad used to be, you know, in that, that type of lifestyle. But he told me, he said, he said the biggest gang in the world is cops. That's right. Mm-hmm. He said MS thirteen. He said mm-hmm. MS thirteen ain't the worst thing in the world. I said, huh? I thought they were. I thought they chopped people up. He said, nah, cops are worse than everybody. And I said, yep. damn, that's coming from a, a gangster. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm-hmm. what? He said but the you same gotta, thing in the Warriors. Yeah, you gotta look at it. Mm-hmm. A lot of those, some, some of them cops is. Is yep. ex gang members or yeah. they're affiliated. They get, affiliated. They get paid. Mm. They get paid. And one thing we gotta learn, them cops corrupt. Yeah. These people corrupt. Look, look at the society they in. They corrupt. Right. Rebecca, man. Uh Rebecca too. These people corrupt. And how but they gonna make a, a right working system if the nation itself is ran by corrupt people? Mm. Mm. Set in power. Now again, not all cops is like that, but the power system is structured like that. So when you see stuff like Tyree Nichols, yeah, the oppressors slay us and hold themselves not guilty. You know what I want, Habakkuk 2? Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4. 1 and 4, there it is, thank you. Therefore, the law is slacked. The white man ain't never been brought to justice for his crimes. So then he sets up totalitarian dictatorships here. Well, what, what point is that? What, the law is slacked, read. And judgment doth never go forth. Esau should be in jail. So therefore, the, his, his system is wicked. Read on. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Mm. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeds. And that's why you see what you see. Mm. Mm. You're going to keep seeing it until Christ comes and redeems us from that. Hey, that's been our show. Hey, we are Israel United in Christ. And this is the Armor of God. Armor, Armor, Armor of God radio show. Hey, remember, check out www.israelunite.org. www.israelunite.org. Check us out at 1 484 4842, extension 7098. That number again, 1 484 4842, extension 7098. Hey, that's been our show tonight. Hey, with that, we say Shalom. 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 Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 